Hi, welcome to the Cope Miles video solutions to the regular payments practice questions. This video will go through the answers to the regular payments practice questions, but if you want any more help on regular payments, if you go to corpmiles.com forward slash contents and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see video 400D and there's a video tutorial on regular payments. But in this video, as I said, we're just going to go through the answers. So let's get started. So question one. So Lewis bought a new washing machine and he paid a deposit of £300 and then he paid £40 each month for the next six months. How much did he pay in total? So first of all, he paid £300, and then he paid six lots of £40. So if we do six times 40, we'll find out how much he paid in those six monthly payments, and then we can add that to the £300. And this is a non-calculator question, so we're going to do six times 40. So six times four is 24, so six times 40 would be 240, so that's £240. And then he paid a deposit of £300, so if we do 300 plus 240, we can see how much Lewis paid in total for his washing machine. So 300 plus 240 would be 540 pound. So his washing machine cost him 540 pound. Okay, let's have a look at question number two. Okay, question number two says, Holly has saved money for a concert ticket that costs £108. She has £52 and she's going to save £8 each week. How many weeks will it take Holly to save enough money? So first of all, the ticket costs £108 and she's got £52. So if we take the £52 away from the £108, we can see how much more money Holly is going to need. So 108 take away 52, well that's going to be equal to 56. So she needs 56 more pounds and she's going to save £8 per week. So if we do divide 56 by 8 pounds, we can see how many weeks it will take Holly to save enough money. So 56 divided by 8, well 7 times 8 is 56, so 56 divided by 8 will be 7. So it's going to take Holly 7 more weeks to save enough money for the concert ticket. Okay, let's have a look at question number 3. So question number 3 says, Clodagh bought a car, she paid a deposit of £3,900 and then made 48 monthly payments of £400. How much did it cost Clodagh in total? So she paid a deposit of 3900 and then she made 48 monthly payments of £400. Let's focus on these monthly payments. She paid £400 48 times. So if we do 48 multiplied by 400, and this is a calculator question, we can see how much money Clodagh paid in her monthly payments. And then we can add on the 3900 deposit and see how much she paid in total. So 48 multiplied by 400 is equal to 19200 So that means that Clodagh paid 19200 200 pound in her monthly payments but she also paid a deposit of 3900 so if we do 19200 plus a deposit of 3900 we can see how much money Clodagh paid in total so that would be equal to 23100 so that means that Clodagh would pay 23100 pound in total for the car Okay, let's have a look at question number four. Okay, let's have a look at question number four. Question number four is a non-calculator question. And Emily's car insurance will cost her £1,200. She pays a deposit of £430 and then she pays 10 equal monthly payments. How much is each monthly payment? Well, the total cost of her car insurance is £1,280. But she pays a deposit of 430 So if we take the 430 away, we can then see how much more money Emily's got to pay. So zero take away zero is zero. 8 take away 3 is 5 2 take away 4, well, well let's borrow so it's now 12 take away 4 12 take away 4 is 8 so that means that Emily's got another £850 to pay over 10 monthly payments so if we do 850 and divide it by 10 because they're equal monthly payments we can see how much each one of those monthly payments will be so 850 divided by 10 is £85 so that means that each one of Emily's monthly payments will be £85 and that's it Okay, let's have a look at question number five. So question number five says, a holiday will cost £1,670. Lorenzo paid a deposit of £250, and then he'll pay for the rest of the cost in eight equal monthly payments. Work out the cost of each of the monthly payments. So the holiday costs £1,670, and he pays a deposit of 250 So if we take the 250 away from that 1670 we can see how much money Lorenzo's got left to pay. So £1,670, take away £250 is equal to £1,420. Now he's going to pay that rest of that money, that £1,420, in eight equal monthly payments. So if we divide it by eight, we can see how much he needs to pay each month. So if we divide that by 8, we'll see that's equal to 177.5. Now obviously we're dealing with money here, so it's going to be £177.50. So that means that each one of his monthly payments is £177.50. 
and 50p. And you can check your answer if you take this £177.50 and, and multiply by 8 and add 250, you'll see that we'll get the cost of the holiday of £1,670. Okay, question number 6 says, Florence buys a car that costs £17,100 and she pays a deposit of £6,750 and pays the rest in equal monthly payments. And each one of the monthly payments is £230. How many monthly payments does Florence make? Well, let's start off by the total cost of the car, so that's 17100 and let's take away the deposit to see how much is left to pay in the monthly payments. So £17,100, take away £6,750 is equal to £10,350. So that's how much money Florence needs to pay in her equal monthly payments. And we know how much one of those equal monthly payments is, which is £230. So if we divide the £10,350 by £230, we can see how many monthly payments she'll need to make. So £10,350 divided by 230 equals 45. So that means that Florence must make 45 payments. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number seven. Okay, let's have a look at question number seven. So question number seven says, Mr. Higgins buys a snooker table for £5,000. He pays a deposit of 30%. Work out how much Mr. Higgins pays as a deposit. So if we work out 30% of the total cost of the 5000 we can see how much money Mr. Higgins paid as a deposit. So the total cost of the snooker table was £5,000. Now we want to find 30%. So let's find 10% of £5,000 to begin with. So let's find 10% of £5,000. So to find 10%, we divide by 10. And this is a non-calculator equation. So dividing 5000 by 10 would be £500. So that's 10%. Now we want 30%, so if we add three 10%s together, we'll find 30%. So we could do 500 plus 500 plus 500, and that's equal to 1,500 pound. Or alternatively, we could take the 10%, which is 500 pound, and times that by three, and that would also be 1,500 pound. So that means that 30% of 5,000 pound is equal to £1,500. So the question says, work out how much money Mr. Higgins pays as a deposit, and he pays 30% of 5,000, so that is £1,500. Okay, let's carry on with the question. Mr. Higgins pays the rest of the cost in 10 equal monthly payments. How much does Mr. Higgins pay in each payment? So the total cost of the snooker table is £5,000. So it's £5,000, and he paid a deposit of £1,500. Now, if we work out 5,000 take away 1,500, we can then see how much money Mr. Higgins needs to pay in his monthly payments, and then we can then divide it by 10 to find the cost of each of those. So 5,000 take away 1,500, well, 5,000 take away 1,000 is 4,000. Take away number 500 would be 3,500 pound. So that's how much money he's got left to pay, and he pays in 10 equal monthly payments. And we've been asked to work out how much Mr. Higgins pays in each one of those payments. So if we do 3,500 and divide that by 10, we'll see how much he needs to pay in each payment, which would be £350. That's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number eight. So question number eight says, Henry buys a new computer that costs £1,800. He pays a 15% deposit, and he pays the rest of the cost in 12 equal monthly payments. How much is each equal monthly payment? So he buys a computer that costs 1800 and he pays a 15% deposit. So if we work out 15% of 1800 then we can find out then how much then he's left to pay, and then we can divide it by 12 to find each one of the monthly payments. So let's start by working out 15% of 1800 So let's do 10%. So 10% would be equal to, well, to get 10%, we divide by 10, so that would be £180. And then 5% is half of 10%. So to find 5%, we have 10%, so that's going to be £90. So that means that 15% would be equal to 10% plus 5%, so that's 180 plus 90, which is £270. So that means that the deposit that Henry pays is £270. So let's then take that away from the 1800 to see how much he's got left to pay. So 1800 take away £270 is equal to £1,530. So he's got £1,530 left to pay, and he then pays that in 12 equal monthly payments. So if we do £1,530 divided by 12, we can see how much each one of the monthly payments is. So divide by 12 equals 127.5. So 127.5, but obviously we're dealing with money here, so that's going to be £127.5. 
and 50 pence. It's very important we put the zero on there to be 50 pence and not just leave it as 0.5. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number nine. Okay, let's have a look at question number nine. So question number nine says, Ranjit buys a caravan and the caravan costs 23,500 pound plus VAT at 20%. Ranjit pays a deposit of £7,000 and the rest of it in 40 equal monthly payments. How much is each monthly payment? So first of all, we need to find the total cost of the caravan. And this is a calculator question, so that's quite nice. So we need to work out what the VAT is. So find 20% and then add that on. So it's a calculator question. So I'm going to divide this by 100 to find 1%. So I'm going to do 23,500 divided by 100. And that's equal to £235. That's quite nice. And then we need to find 20%. So that's 1%. So let's multiply that by 20 to find 20%. So £235 multiplied by 20 would be equal to 4700 So that's how much the VAT is. We need to add that on to find the total cost of the caravan. So we're going to do £23,500 plus £4,700. And when we work that out, that'll be the total cost of the caravan. So that's equal to £28,200. So that's how much the caravan costs in total, including VAT. So he pays a deposit of £7,000. So let's take £7,000 off that to see how much is left. So £28,200 subtract £7,000 is equal to £21,200. So that's how much money he has left to pay. And the question says he pays the rest in 40 equal monthly payments. So if we divide 21200 by 40, we can then find how much each one of the monthly payments is. So that means that each one of Ranjit's monthly payments is £530. Okay, let's have a look at question number 10. Okay, question number 10. So question number 10 says Charlotte and Bethan buy a camper van and the camper van costs £18,000. Charlotte pays the deposit and Bethan makes 32 equal monthly payments. So Charlotte's going to pay the deposit and then Bethan pays the rest of the money, but she pays it over 32 equal monthly payments. And the ratio of the total amount that Charlotte paid, so the deposit, to the total amount that Bethan paid, well, the rest of the payments, is 2 to 3. Work out how much Bethan paid each month. Now we're told the total cost of the caravan and we know the ratio in terms of the total amount that each person pays. So if we divide £18,000 in this ratio, 2 to 3, we can then work out then how much Bethan paid in total and then we can divide it by 32 to work out each one of her monthly payments. So let's first of all work out how much Charlotte paid and how much Bethan paid. So the ratio is 2 to 3. So we're going to divide 18000 in the ratio 2 to 3. So let's do 2 plus 3 to find out how many parts are in total. 2 plus 3 is 5 parts in total. And then we're going to do 18000 divided by 5. So that will tell us how much money is in each part. So 18000 divided by 5 is equal to £3,600. Now Charlotte paid two parts, so that means if we take our 3600 the amount of money in one part, and multiply it by two, that would tell us how much she paid, which is 7200 And then Bethan paid three parts, so if we do 3600 and multiply that by three, that's equal to £10,800. So we've worked out how much each person pays. Charlotte paid 7200 and Bethan paid in total £10,800. But Bethan paid that over 32 monthly payments. So if we divide 10,800 by 32, we can work out how much Bethan paid each month. So 10,800 divided by 32 is equal to, and that's equal to 337.5. Now obviously remember we're dealing with money here, so let's put that as 337 pound and 50 pence. So how much did Bethan pay each month? £337.50. And, and that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the regular payments practice questions. I really, really hope you find this video useful. If you do want some extra help, there is the video tutorial on regular payments here. You can just scan the QR code or go to video 400D. But that's it. So again, I hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, thanks very much. Good luck.